Hello guys, welcome back. So now, here in this session, now look at here, I'm not sharing any PPT. Okay, so why I'm not sharing any PPT? Because I'll tell you, first of all, we have covered certain topic. Okay, so here, based on the topic which is covered till now, what we have to do, let's suppose if I have to start, if, if like, let's suppose I'm going to start any topic, guys, say for example, I'm going to start account payable. Just, okay. If I'm going to start this topic. So now what is happening? What is the best way to practice? Isn't it? What is the best way to practice? The reason behind is if you talk about the videos, multiple videos are recorded, right? But if you talk about the topic, still very less topics are recorded. In the sense, recorded, I mean to say that less topics only are covered. The thing is like, since the things are being explained in detail, that is why it has taken every, uh, you know, explanation has taken time. Isn't it? But I'll tell you, whatever whatever the configurations we have done till now these all configurations these all configurations can be can be completed if you talk about only configurations these all configurations can be completed in 10 minutes or max to max 15 minutes it means till now whatever classes are being like have been given let's suppose 30 classes have been okay now if you talk about the configuration part that can it means like let's suppose somebody has started today within 10 to 15 minutes what is happening guys even that candidate also will be on the same you know level where you all are there okay now so what is the best way to practice now let's suppose i said here if i have to start account payable or you have to like let's suppose uh in upcoming session uh, multiple other topics are also going to be discussed okay so when you have to like let's suppose if you have to configure that particular topic so you just assume that what is the minimum configurations are required to practice that topic if i talk about account payable guys account payable means we have to discuss related to we have to discuss the things related to vendor in the sense like let's suppose we have to post a uh, vendor invoice right vendor let's suppose credit memo what is this vendor credit memo you guys will come to note on very once i start this thing and vendor payment Okay, apart from this other topics, multiple other topics are there which we are going to discuss. Now, let's suppose these three. So if you talk about vendor invoice, what is happening? Let's suppose vendor invoice. So here, when you post a vendor invoice, what will happen, guys? There will be, let's suppose, now, if you talk about we are having, uh, which GL we have created, guys? A rent GL we have already created. Okay, if you talk about account payable, account payable means all the transactions, which is related to vendor are going to be covered here okay it means it means like procurement purchase related things vendor is nothing but supplier so now what happened guys here now so supplier means supplier supplier uh, in the sense like it means like we are buying something from vendors right Supplier means they are supplying certain, let's suppose, materials, raw materials. So supplying the materials, not only material, guys, even we are buying services also. What we have done, we have created a rent GL. Okay. Now let's suppose this Tata Moto company code, right? So there, whatever this office, corporate office building is there or premises is there, they have taken on lease. And every month, every month, what is happening? 
we are going to in the sense Tata Motor is going to receive an invoice from vendor okay invoice from vendor and what is happening guys once the invoice are being once the invoice is being received by Tata Motor then after let's suppose 15 days or after 30 days the payments are going to be made if the invoice is received today then after 15 days let's suppose the payments are going to be made that is the procedure and which is happened guys in organizations what is happening you as an individual when you visit any particular shop what happened guys you are going to make payment immediately and you are buying to buy you guys are buying the stuffs right but here when i talk about any deal happen between like business to business right this is like when you talk about individual purchase individual means you are individual when you visit any local shop that is also being run by an individual itself we cannot say that that is a company that is an organization right so this is individual it is happening on cash basis now what happened when any dealings are happening between business to business tata motor is a business setup guys business entity at the same time when the tata motor is going to buy certain raw material so who is the supplier that supplier is another business entity guys that is another organization so company to company you can say business to business means company to company so there company to company what is happening the whatever this uh, what is say transactions are taking place in the sense purchase or sales are taking place that is happening on credit basis okay i'll explain these things once i start in detail once i start this account payable right now what i have to do so let's suppose so here what happened guys credit basis so here in the sense like procurement in the sense purchase has taken place today but the payment is going to happen after some time this is called credit basis today we have purchased even in real time as an individual uh, also like we also can like let's suppose uh, if you have a good repo with any any local uh, what is a shopkeeper whatever the goods you are purchasing whatever the stuff or item you are purchasing today in your case also you say it's like okay you just do one thing uh, in whole month whatever items i'm purchasing the payments i'll settle at month end once i get my salary this also happened right okay so that is also we can say credit basis purchases on credit basis in the sense like you have purchased the stuff today but the payment you are going to make on month end right but less it is going to like less only but nowadays everywhere like cash basis only the things are there but in organization what is happening guys all the transactions are taking place like that itself credit purchase credit purchase means purchase has taken place today vendor is going to send the invoices also for that purchase and the payments are going to be made after a particular certain time after certain time means maybe after 15 days after 30 days right so that is called terms of payment which is going to be agreed between the vendor and customer customer means buyer vendor means supplier right now so purchases are taking place on credit basis now let's suppose what happened i said like Tata Motor, the corporate office is there, which is on like uh, they have taken on lease from a particular builder. Okay, let's suppose that builder name is AB, ABC, like in any company, guys. ABC, Entra, okay, Infrastructure Limited or anything. Now, this is the name of that organization. So what happened here? Okay. Now here, what will happen, guys? I'll just do one thing. Let me increase this. Okay. So now, <clears throat> let's suppose ABC infrastructure. So they have like uh, that company premises, Tata Motor, whatever the premises there. It is the entire premises is on lease and every month the invoice is being received from abc infra so here what is happening rent related invoice so first of all a rent account is going to be debited and what is happening guys your vendor which vendor guys this abc 
infra that is going to be credited okay this is what is happening okay a rent is a gl account okay a rent is a gl account and here this is abc infra is vendor account okay so gl account how to create the gl account that we have seen in the previous session very simple steps are there now what we have to do we have to create a vendor account also to post this transaction i mean to say master data right what is the difference between transaction data and master data that i have already explained right what is the difference guys what do you mean by master data someone just tell me anybody master data is one time creation data okay. we're using the while well, using creating gls so yes master data is like one time setup one time creation guys once we have created let's suppose rent gl account so once you have created this gl account now what is happening it can be used lifelong it can be used lifelong this is what the difference is transaction data means every time we can post the transactions once you have created rent gl it can be used by you can be used lifelong transaction means whatever the transactions are getting posted in against rent zl that is called transaction data sometime a rent worth of 5000 sometime a rent worth of 20000 sometime a rent worth of 15000 10000 whatever it is so transactions means a different different transactions but every time what is happening guys those transactions are going to be posted against this rent zl account itself so gl account we have created once and now it can be used lifelong until unless it is going to be blocked or set for deletions right now so what i said let's suppose so here what is the best way to practice guys now so as i said now here what is happening so for account payable this vendor account also supposed to be created now before creating this vendor account what is happening we have to do certain configuration first certain configuration steps are there that is called account payable basic setting so we have to do certain basic setting then only we can proceed further we can create this vendor account once it got created then you can post the vendor invoice right then after you can post the credit memo you can post the payment right these things can be tested now so if we have to do these configurations right so what you have to do what is the best way to practice first of all we have to think that before like uh, if we have to do this configurations then what is the minimum settings what is the minimum configurations are required in sap to perform the testing for account payable in the sense once you have done the configurations for account payable now what will happen guys you have to test it also how to test so we have to post certain vendor invoice and we have to check whether the invoice is getting posted successfully or not because whatever configurations are there that is going to be done by you people which is one time activity right but what will happen after configurations this vendor invoice posting vendor payment posting vendor credit memo posting this is called end user transactions in the sense users transaction you can say right which is going to be performed posted by users on regular basis so configuration is one time which is going to be done by you people consultant will do this configurations right once sap once we have done all the configurations it is going to be handed over to the client and then client in the sense tata moto so what about their employee are they going to do the configurations and then they will start posting transactions not at all configurations is already done they are not the master of sap they are not sap consultant they have to perform their day-to-day -day activities so even this invoice posting also tata motor is having multiple suppliers vendors so multiple invoices are coming on regular basis so their employees are going to post the invoices credit memo payment and certain other configurations are also there in uh, this uh, what is say account payable other topics are also there 
those activities are going to be performed. What are those? We'll talk about those topics also in details one by one. <laughs> okay, so what I said that if you have to do the configurations of like let's suppose if we are going to start any new topic before that what is the minimum configuration supposed to be available just assume like we have in the previous session what we have done guys we have posted transactions we can say document posting document posting means simply we have posted jv jv i mean to say general voucher general voucher general voucher means what kind of transactions guys are transactions where we can say gl to gl entry right gl to gl entry gl to gl entry means what i said guys now let's suppose we have sent like a rent account debit bank account is going to be credited let's suppose audit fee account debit and let's suppose bank account is going to be credited so these all are jv posting right so here rent is A GL account bank is another GL account likewise audit fee one GL account and bank is another GL account right so let's suppose document posting if we have to post a transaction this one this transaction only or this transaction itself so what are the minimum setting must be there into SAP guys right what is the minimum setting must be there into sap so first of all we have to think and then you have to practice so if you are going to start in this way then what is happening your journey is going to be quite easy no need to watch the video again and again because again i'll tell you for one particular configurations which can be completed in just two minutes are you going to watch one hour video no for that what is happening configuration document is there so if you guys are going to see the configuration document based on that within two minutes you are going to complete the configurations videos are there for to understand the logic right so you can watch once you can watch twice you can watch thrice right after that what is happening once you understood the logic then it's, it's there is no much sense to watch again the complete video for the configurations we are having configuration document we can do it now so let's suppose i said like if i have to start any new new topic so for that topic what is the minimum settings are required or else right now let's suppose account payable is not started so now you just do one thing transaction posting if you have to post a transaction let's suppose this transaction right so for this one what is the minimum settings are required into sap so that you can post a transactions right so i'll tell you what are the minimum settings required so here setting number one now in the sense configurations right i told you people first of all what we have done we have created a company right we have created a company configuration is started from creating a company company equals to group company in the sense startup group now creation of company is what guys this is optional setting in the sense let's suppose a group company you can set up only if multiple subsidiaries are there tata motor tata steel right tata chemical so different different subsidiaries are there and these all comes under tata group so we have to set up a group company first and then we are going to set up subsidiaries are going to be set up as a company code now here what will happen let's suppose so i said like minimum settings what is the minimum settings so we can avoid the creation of we can avoid the creation of group company it means creation of company right now we are not going to do okay now what next the next one is 
company code right so company code is mandatory you must have to create because subsidiary tata motor tata steel so financial statements are going to be generated based on what tata motor or tata steel or tata chemical because these are the organizations which is listed in the stock market right so what is happening the first create a company code okay transaction code is ox02 i'll tell you guys even now next time onwards when you guys are going to perform this enterprise structure and basic settings right so what you have to do next time onwards try not to refer the documents also okay certain steps are there which you have to follow you can note it down also later once the class is completed and then you try because this is the best way when i can like i'm explaining that is why it is taking time or is till now whatever i have covered it can be finished just in 10 minutes isn't it you guys are looking at like multiple videos got recorded but everything can be if configurations only i have to show then it can be completed in 10 minutes so still we are in starting phase we are in beginning only still we are in beginning right now so create a company code that is the one thing is required tata motor tata steel whatever your company code is there now we are going to create that is the first step second one business area i told you guys in the previous session again creation of business area is also not a required it is not a required mandatory setting this is also optional if you want to skip you can skip why i am saying these things guys i said like what is the minimum configurations required let's suppose i have to post a transactions rent account debit and bank account credit so what are the minimum configurations required okay so what are the minimum configurations required that we are going to discuss so creation of business area again you can skip now so in enterprise structure simply you create a company code that is the one setting then we have to go for basic setting okay we have to go for basic setting so basic setting means create a posting period variant okay period variant okay create a posting period variant guys now here so this is the another setting which you must must have to create without posting period variant it is not possible to proceed further this is a mandatory setting and what is the use of posting period variant that you all know we can open and close the period isn't it so op bo this transaction code i'll tell you because sometimes you guys are confused that how to remember these many transaction code i'll tell you guys no need to be remember all the transaction code but certain certain basic t codes are there and certain important t codes transaction codes are there t code means transaction code if you guys are able to remember those transaction code then what will happen your journey is going to be very easy isn't it or is as i told you neither transaction code nor path nothing is going to make you a perfect consultant the only thing is if you know the logic right behind all the configurations then only you guys are going to be a perfect consultant that is why during interview people will not ask any transaction code or any path if somebody started asking transaction code and all the transaction code and all it means your rejection is going to happen it means they have uh, determined to uh, you know uh, reject the candidate because asking the transaction code is just like asking abc right you have completed your masters you went somewhere for interview they asked one question you couldn't reply then they asked another questions then also you couldn't reply it means so they are going to decrease the level level of the questions and finally what will happen then they will say you just do one thing can you write abc right so what is this guys it means they are mocking in the sense like they are laughing at the candidates okay so now here creating create a posting period variant this is the another setting guys 
and if you have created the posting period variant then what is happening assign this assign posting period variant company code so assign this posting period variant ob bp okay after assignment the fourth setting is open and close posting period right first of all you have to create then you have to assign and then you have to these all logics are already explained in the previous session guys right now i am sending said saying that what is the minimum configurations are required so that you can post a transactions this much we have done this much we have done and then you can proceed further in the sense once i'm going to start a next next topic then easily you can you can start from there only so now here posting post what do you say okay now here open sorry uh, spelling mistake so don't look at the okay open open or close the posting period will be 52 simple so that is the that is the thing open and close posting period then what is happening then the fifth step the fifth step is fiscal year variant fiscal year variant also is required guys now let's suppose here so create fiscal year variant what is this fiscal year variant is already explained in the previous session guys now these are the part of basic setting okay so ob 29 if you know this transaction code easily you can and what is happening you can create a fiscal year variant once after that what is happening guys simply you can copy the existing one so that easily you can proceed further once you understood the logic once you have created one fiscal year variant right so next time onwards what happened for quick configurations we can say like about this session right we can say quick configurations quick configurations means the minimum settings you have to do what is the minimum setting required so that you can proceed further you can post a transaction so till now in order to post a transaction rent account debit and bank account credit what are the minimum configurations required right so i said these are the configurations till now create fiscal year variant and once you have created then assign also assign fiscal year variant against your company code so it is ob37 this is the configurations which is required what next guys the next one is let's suppose okay so okay now the next one is what guys next one is again field status variant you can seven create field status variant it is variant right field status variant is going to be set up for what it is going to control the fields it is going to control the fields okay now now okay somebody called yesterday there was a call and uh, yesterday i think yesterday or day before yesterday right and uh, during talk like that guy was already taken training and uh, you know like again because you know like one numbers are available at multiple you know on Google's and everywhere it is there right so now what happened like if somebody found the number they can call also okay again it is not possible to answer each and every calls because multiple calls I'm getting but still 
now that guy was already taken training and he said like so like uh, i want to go for project training and all so i just asked like why to go for project training again the same thing is happening in project if you talk about whatever configurations you have done the same configurations you have to do in project training in the sense like if you talk about the implementations the same thing is happening in implementations right it means whatever things you have studied right whatever things are being covered by your faculty they have not explained the things in detail that is why you're not confident right he said no no i'm very much uh, what to say confident on the uh, things which i have learned right i asked a very simple things like okay you tell me when you create a gl account how the gl account fields are going to be controlled by which setting the fields are getting controlled right he said it's very simple sir field status variant this is what the level right and then he was asking so you tell me like how much rating you are going to give now how can i say that i can give you even uh, not even one rating also the problem is if i'm going to say this then actually i don't want to discourage the people but the fact is something else even it doesn't deserve one rating also if if somebody says negative minus rating then then of course he is going to get the minus rating because the basic also is so that is the level of the people right now what will happen if he is going to attend the interview what is the performance guys within 2 3 minutes not 2 3 minutes if you talk about the interviewers guys can we what happen people are not going to disconnect let's suppose mostly the first round will be telephonic round so no matter wherever you guys are there throughout the globe this is what the process so telephonic round in the sense like let's suppose so that is a technical round itself so even though if your performance is zero in the sense i mean to say not my students right my student performance will never be zero but whoever the people are the candidates are there if even if their performance is zero still interviewers are going to spend some 5 6 minutes time with them and then only they will uh, you know disconnect the call they'll say okay now we have done with the interview if you are shortlisted hr will get back to you it means hr will never get back to you that is what the message they are trying to give okay now so field status variant control the fields which appears at the time of transaction posting right my student must be like so these differences you guys will be that we have already checked and in upcoming session what will happen guys certain questionnaire sessions also will be there well i'll be putting some questions okay so this is how i come to know that what about your preparations and how you guys are preparing now okay so field status variant ob c4 right and when you have created field status variant assign this field status variant to company code right when i talk about assignment it means every time the assignments are going to happen to the company code here also assign this fiscal year variant to company code right you can say fiscal year variant to company code likewise assign the posting period variant posting period variant to company code only right okay so obc5 uh, this much setting then ninth what is the another setting guys have we done with the basic number setting? range number range yes now let's be saying number range so yes we can create number range also guys number range so how to create fbn1 is the transaction code guys fbn1 remember these things you can note it down on a small like you just as i said like everybody has to maintain a notebook right i explain each and everything it doesn't mean that you guys are not you also have to do something put some effort now so create number range then what is the next setting guys tolerance group what tolerance group then have to create a tolerance group tolerance group right so tolerance group when you are going to create 
you have to create tolerance group for employee right this logic is already explained that is ob a for i think and again another tolerance group also you have to create that is called gl somebody was asking in the group like is it covered or not configurations i have already covered and if you watch the video guys there generally what happened when i'm going to explain a particular topic some of the topics can be explained immediately but some of the things it is a mandatory setting but in order to explain practically what is happening the things in the sense the example which i have to quote that is coming into a different topic which is going to be covered in future so what what is happening guys that particular topic cannot be covered right now itself that is why i says that you have to configure this as a mandatory setting and logic you guys will come to know in upcoming session whenever i cover whenever i'm going to cover in future whenever i cover a part that, that in the sense like a different topic then you guys will be able to understand so this is this is for gl okay so you have to do this as a mandatory setting logic and all you guys will come to know later on certain clearing gl we have to create and that too in fimm integrations there you guys will come to know so right now you have to do it as a mandatory setting that is why we get have seen in in, in group like void discussions were happening so you guys were saying like what is the logic is it explained it is not explained okay so that's what so if you watch the video after some time you guys are going to forget so when you're doing the configurations you won't be able to understand the logic then you will be asking yourself or somebody what about this topic right so it will be covered don't worry but not now so ob a0 okay anything else guys from basic setting this is from enterprise structure and this much from basic setting these are the steps which we have to do then what is happening guys so i'll tell you guys for every configurations whatever whatever these these steps are there it is mandatory for every upcoming whatever topics are going to be covered guys you must have to do this much setting okay whether i cover like whichever upcoming settings are there whether it is integrations account payable account receivable asset accounting for each and every settings what you have to do this is the minimum setting you must have to do okay this much this much transaction code must be there at the tip of your tongue and that too in a this sequence only this is how the this is what the best way to practice okay whether you note it down somewhere or whatever it is but you must be able to remember this sequences okay so that is why i'll tell you like how you can practice so that easily because the thing is like later on what happened guys when when somebody is going to ask let's suppose the interviewer is asking a question right so while explaining when you answer the question what happened the screen must appears in front of your eye then only you guys are going to be more and more comfortable right so how the screens are going to appear in front of your eye guys so that is going to appear only if you are perfect in terms of your practice if i say tolerance group immediately a tolerance group related screen should appear in front of your eye if i say posting period variant that posting period variant screen should appear in front of your eye if it is not appearing it means what is happening guys it means see somebody is trying to i'll tell you guys don't click on webcam okay don't click on webcam or is your picture will be in the video the your picture will come okay guys so don't click on the webcam don't make any experiment guys while the classes okay if you guys are able to see the screen if you guys are able to hear the voice you can because if you are going to click on anywhere that your name is going to appear who is doing what okay so and sometimes what is happening if you click on webcam your picture will appear in the video so again it is going to cover like one third of this screen so don't don't click here and there okay okay so uh, so this tolerance group we have done 
right? Uh, then what is happening? Then 12. Now what is happening, guys? As I said, like first of all, we have to post this rent, debit, and bank credit. So this is GL. So now GL setting, right? So GL setting is going to be started from where? Create a account, right? What are the setting, guys? GL setting. Add up account. Add up account. Okay. And then after. Retained earnings. List of GL accounts and account. Account sector. Account group. Wait, wait. OB13 is the transaction code, right? After that, what you guys are saying? Somebody just tell me. Assign. Assignment, guys. First of all, you have to complete the assignment. Then only you can proceed further. So assign the start of account to your company code. OB62 is the transaction code, guys. And what next? Account group creation of account group. Yeah, account group creation, guys. Account group creation. Create account group or account group creation, anything. So account group creation will be D4. Next. Return earning account. Yes. So return earning account, guys. It is a mandatory setting. Return earning account. This is OB 53. Then what next, guys? Create GL Yeah. Yes. Yes. Master. You, guys are, you guys are able to remember. So create GL Master. Or you can say GL account, anything, whatever you say. FS double zero. So I'll tell you guys now, once you have created, then what is happening, guys? Then you can post the transactions. Now you can post the transaction. You can post a document. Document. Document is nothing but transaction. Right? You can post a transaction FB50. We have to use this key code F02 or FB50. But now, what is happening, guys? FB50s are being used, right? Okay. So, it means if you have to, till now, whatever we have done, right? That those things are going to be in these many steps again, you guys can reach here. These are the steps which you have to. Now, the question is how much time it is going to take. So now what is happening guys? Now let's suppose whatever my company code is there. I'm going to live up that company code here itself. And from here onwards, if I have to start my journey, now I'm going to start from a new company code. Okay, I can start from a new company code. So what is in the sense, like if I have to start my journey, let's suppose I have to do configurations for account payable. So for account payable, let's suppose before starting this account payable setting, what is the minimum configurations must be available into SAP guys or any further settings? What is the minimum configurations must be available into SAP? So these are the minimum configuration must be available and then you can post a ZV and then after you can proceed further. So in each and every settings guys, whatever the upcoming settings are there, whether you talk about account payable, you talk about account receivable, asset accounting integrations and various other topics are also going to be discussed. For those settings, what is happening? For those settings, these are the minimum configurations you must have to do, and then only you can proceed further. So now, if I have to configure, let's suppose, so I'll just do a thing, guys. Here, let's suppose. Okay. So let me. So first of all, you have to log in to SAP. Now, give your ID. 
and password. So I have to define a company code. That is the first setting. How company code is going to be defined? Over zero two. Okay. Now here earlier I have defined like TM twenty two, right? This was my company code. Twenty three, twenty four is already there. Thirty three is already there, right? Forty is there. I'll define TM forty two. A new company code is TM forty two. It means I'll just write here. This is the company code. Let's suppose in this company code, I have to proceed further. So simply click on your entry, guys. TM forty two. You can give the details here. Look at here how much time it is going to take, guys. Now just save it. Control H. And so this screen will appear. Give your country code only and press enter. Transport request, guys. If you want to set up a new transport request, you can create. You can click here, right? If you are doing first time, then what is happening, guys? This screen will be blank, and this screen also will be blank. So you can click on here, create one request, and once again you can give the details and press enter. Then this request number will appear, and then press enter. Okay. So now what is happening? I have created the company code. What next, guys? Posting period variant. I said go to OB PO. Simple. Posting period variant also same code. I am going to give. So here TM forty two for posting period variant also. Press enter and just save it. Is done. Assignment of posting period variant. I said OB BP right. OB slash and OB BP. Okay, logics are already explained, so no need to go for those things. Now, TM42 is my company code, and posting period variant is also TM42 itself. Assign it and save it. This is what is happening, right? What next? After that, right? So fiscal year variant. OB twenty nine, OB twenty nine. So here, what is happening, guys? Let's suppose if I have to use April to March, or whatever your fiscal year variant is there. It is taking time, guys. Why? Okay, now it can. So take any any posting period variant, guys. Now here, if we talk about posting period variant April to March V three. Is the standard which is given by SAP. V3, April to March for April to March for every posting period variant. What is happening, guys? SAP has given one a reference posting period variant, sample posting period variant. Okay, for Jan to December, K4, K4 is given by SAP. Okay, so now this V3 instead of creating what is happening, if I know the logic, no need to create again every time. If you want to create, you can set up. Right, but this time I'm going to copy V3. All is other. You have already created earlier. Somebody has created. Let's suppose this this VG. Now if you check here, oh, inside there is no configurations. Simply only they have given this name only. Right, this is all VG is there. VI is there. Let me check. So here configuration is there. Right. So even you can copy any existing one, guys. Okay, any any existing one. You can just click on copy, and here, get your like TM42. I'm going to give T4. Okay, and press enter. Let's see. This code is already used by someone. I'm going to give TT. Let's see. This is also used by someone. TX, TY. Everything. Z Z. What is this? Okay. This all. Okay, I'll give forty two only and press enter. Okay, now it is because multiple posting period variant is already created, right? So multiple codes are already used. 
anyway any two digit code even one digit code also can be given it could be numeric it could be alphabetic it could be alphanumeric okay so now i have given 42 it's okay click on copy all and then press enter that's it so this is my field status variant just save it control s always don't forget to save on the same transport request press enter so this field status variant i have created now what is happening 42 is my field status variant and now it is supposed to be assigned to the company code so simple ob37 i am able to remember the t code that is why i am using this right or else you guys can see here you have to already as i said like you have to make a list of this one so assign fiscal year variant i am here repeat here within few minutes i came here right so you give here tm22 that is your company code not tm22 sorry tm42 right now here again it is going to show you look at here nothing is we have not given any uh, what do you say fiscal year variant is not assigned that is why it is going to show such kind of warning messages so you press enter 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 tm42 and here you have to assign your so let's suppose mine is 42 that is my fiscal year variant right and when you save it control s then sap is saying that you do you need to assign anything here no i don't need because this is not my company code so press enter again wherever that blank is there everywhere sap is going to show so every time press enter 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 and then finally your tr got generated and press enter so it means assignment is done okay now then what next guys the next one is here so field uh, status variant sorry fiscal fiscal year variant we have created right now here field status variant obc4 and then assignment very simple so that's an ob c4 and here you can copy anyone just keep copy triple zero one that is the standard given by sap and tm42 i'm going to keep okay this is for this is for tm42 and press enter and always click on copy all so that within field status variant whatever the field status groups are there that is going to be copied right it's taking some time Why it is taking this much time, guys? What about the my server? Is it slow from my side or like my internet is slow? Let me. So it will show that it is blocked by me only. Okay. I'll just stop it. And once again, I'll go to OBC4. OBC4, it is taking too much time. Lots of field status variant is already created. It's okay, but still, it should not take this much time. Press enter. Click on copy all. Once again. <coughs> Oh my god i think lots of configurations are already stored guys so maybe the server become a bit slow and in that case we'll have to go to we'll have to format the server because maybe that it's already four or five months back or six months back it was formatted okay so why it is taking this much time guys we'll do one thing guys in this case because i don't know it is whether it is taking for me or not for other people also. again let me stop it so what i'll do now what i'll do guys uh, this is like 
it is taking i'll copy a different one 1000 let's suppose and copy and let me check if the same issue is there yes it is taking time maybe uh the server becomes slow or my internet is slow i can't say anything so i'll use the existing one itself like okay now it got copied it's okay so let's suppose this tm42 just save it okay you can check here multiple field status groups will be there guys right now g001 these are the that is not required you can remove also now g001 here if you check optional everything are fine it's okay just save it control s the server is slow only guys maybe server is slow okay now so field status variant we have created now what next guys assign it op c5 and here you can give your company code press enter and here tm42 is our field status variant same code if you give the same code for other settings like field status variant posting period variant it will be quite easy for you people to remember that already i have repeated several times okay so field status variant we have done what next guys the next one is assignment is also we have done create a number range very simple quickly i'll set up the number range fbn1 fbn1 guys okay i'm speaking i'm showing that is why it is taking a little, little bit time or is 10 minutes more than enough we can do this now you click on create interval logic is already explained so that is why i'm not explaining anything here control it save it so what we have done we have created a number range here we press enter meanwhile come back here number range is already created tolerance group for employee and tolerance group for gl oba4 and oba0 first of all oba4 okay as i told you guys here don't give anything in group field keep it blank tm42 logic is already explained for this one also give a maximum number of amount and here certain amount and save it right now we are simply doing the minimum configurations okay so once again don't ex expect that i'm going to explain the logic again because on these all topics one one hour sessions are already given right okay so feel status now sorry uh, tolerance group for employee and tolerance group for gl ob a0 tolerance group for gl this is also a mandatory setting click on new entry or give your company code don't give anything in group field okay and here you give a particular amount and just save it so this is what is done now what next guys the next one is gl related settings here okay create chart of account assign chart of account okay so create chart of account here ob 13 my chart of account code also i'm going to keep pm42 itself you can give your chart of account description name language english length i say keep a small length only in real time of course 10 digit length will be there but here keep four digit length and save it so this is what i have given now assignment will be 62 okay it is already logged by someone so sm12 we can use and unlock remove your user id press enter and just delete all once again ob62 so here you can give your company code and tm 42 and save it press and right now what is happening guys what next so account group 
right look at here creation of account group account group creation now here ob b4 account group creation i'll tell you you're already previously we have already done like chart of account tm22 this was my previous company code and previous chart of account right simply we can copy this one if you want to create you can create very easily i'm just going to copy why because i'm repeating these things this is how you guys will be able to familiar with the screens okay the more you practice the more time you know this screen appearance are taking place multiple time and this is how you guys will be able to so this is why i'm saying now here when i say account group this screen must appear okay here chart of account your account group here the descriptions here the number ranges right so this screen must appear it is going to appear only when you guys are going to see this screen again and again that is why i said that such kind of settings you have to do i have done previously like we have till document posting all the settings now for next topic i'm going to stop my previous company code there i'm going to set up a new company code and then i'm going to proceed further so in this way what is happening guys simply how quickly you are going to do the minimum configurations right it matters okay so this one we have done now what is happening return earning account as a mandatory setting we have to do ob53 very simple step is there that is also i told you guys ob53 and your chart of account is tm42 instance just now i have created pnl account x simply you have to give and save it that's it as i told you right this is we are going to do as a mandatory setting only okay that's it now what next the next one is creation of gl account and post the transactions so what is the creation of gl account means let's suppose this is the transaction i have to post rent account and bank account one gl for rent one gl for bank simple so you can go to fs00 and then now here what will happen people directly go and change the company code so here i'll tell you if you give tm42 this error you guys this is error it's not error information specify existing value it means right now company code tm42 sap is saying that specify existing value it means people thinks like i have already created my company code why it is not appearing here so i'll tell you guys first of all you have to create a gl account and then you can switch to company code okay you create a gl account when you click here and when you give your company code dm42 and you press enter then no gl has no gl has been created that is why sap is saying first of all you create set up a gl account and then you can switch you can go over there there should be something to show so that is why if this screen is appearing it's okay what do you have to do or else like there might be a different screen is going to appear that gl setting i have already shown like hierarchy display here right so your screen will be uh, the, uh, that check this this radio button will be selected right so anyway now so here what you have to do you need to click on create button create button gl account let's suppose 4000 that is for rent okay sorry the company code i forgot to change tm42 and here you can if you want to create so this is which account group rent means comes under expense right and here let's suppose descriptions you can give rent account quickly we can do it okay now here line item display simply you give sort key the sort key is not explained it's okay will be explained don't worry nothing is only balance in local currency you can apply a check mark and you can that's it simple right and then when you switch tm42 now it is going to appear because one gl we have already created earlier there was no gl that is why sap was saying that specify an existing value in the sense like nothing is there to show it's not like a system is saying that no tm42 is not created tm42 is created but in that company code no gl account was created that is why thus that problem was appearing okay now what is happening you can create the next gl that is bank gl 
So bank GL means GL account 1000 we are going to give asset account it comes under asset account right and then asset account you have to select this is balance sheet account so let's suppose hdfc bank account or icici or hsbc ANZ, whatever the so banks are there that you can create here line item display only Good. group and save it look at here how quickly i have created i said like because i'm explaining also that is why or is 10 minutes are more than enough in 10 minutes what you have to do you have to complete this setting so now a minimum whatever settings are required that we have done right what next guys i have to post a transaction go to fb50 and if your document is posting it is already by default it is going to appear now look at here the company code is tm00 so you need to click on here company code switch company code and give your tm42 and press enter so now what will happen tm42 give a real account here debit and let's suppose any amount guys let's suppose i'm going to give 2000 that is the amount and again bank account is this is your bank deal bank deal is going to be credited hdfc bank deal is going to be credited with this amount and you press and look at here sab is saying that posting period what is this error guys what we have to do open and closing period we have to go the and posting period you guys are able to understand so what we have done yeah yes yes okay so what we have to do guys now here okay so here what is happening let's suppose ob 52 we have created a posting period variant we have assigned the posting period variant but we have not opened the period here select this one and copy at pm 42 keep this plus only so let's suppose i'm going to open the whole period one two whole period guys everybody just be on mute noise is coming and press enter okay so that this error will not appear in real time what happened single periods are going to be open that also i have already explained in the previous session guys logic is already explained now so posting period i have opened now you come back here and if you press enter now there is no any error so this was the single error which has taken place guys and the logic was one step we didn't do in the sense we forgot to do right now here everything is fine if you save control s if you post it control s First document that is 1000 got generated right so these are the minimum setting which you have to do so now what you have to do guys whatever now so if I have to like if I'm going to start a new topic right so before that what is happening you can perform this setting right and try to complete this as soon as possible because in upcoming sessions as I said if I said like let's suppose account receivable then you have to think now I have to start my account receivable settings so what is the minimum settings required for account receivable quickly in 15 minutes you create another company code and then you do the account receivable settings so this is how you guys will be having good command on this configurations and you will be able to understand the screens should appear in front of your eyes that is how the, you guys are going to be much comfortable at the time of HGBs. right there are multiple things is going to be explained one by one in upcoming session guys okay so what i'll be doing guys then i'll stop this session here itself so that's all in this session